The goal is simple. We have these lights and we want a blinking animation. This is what you waited for. I think we're ready. So here's how it works. We have our lights. This is our geometry. If you know 3D, you know we get textures onto our geometry with something called a UV map. All the UV map is is a representation of our object laid out, preferably flat, within a 2D space or the UV space. What we'll do is instead of using a video file, we'll use a single image with a pattern. Then we'll tell Unreal to animate that image constantly in one direction, something like on, and off, on and off. Different image patterns result in different light animations. So we could do red to blue to red to blue. You get the idea. Once I show you a few variables in our setup, you'll realize the flexibility for application here is limitless. Let's cover our first setup variable, the UV layout. In Blender, we just want our light bulbs, only the geometry that'll be glowing. So make sure that's its own object and go to the front view in edit mode and press U for the unwrap menu and project from view. In the UV editor type, let's adjust our UV map. Right now, each bulb has surface area in the UV space. What that means is our gradient animation will fade over the surface of each bulb. We actually don't want that. What we want is for every bulb to act as if it has a single light source, not this surface gradient. So what we can do without losing our pattern is go to the top here to our pivot options, change this to individual origins. This simply means Blender keeps the position of the bulb, but we can scale each bulb down into itself. Once that's set to individual origins, press S for scale and type in zero and then enter. So each individual bulb collapses down infinitely. So it's represented in UV space by a single point. I like to create a square image that has a few different horizontal pattern options. And the cool thing is you can set up an entire environment with just a single image and it doesn't have to even be high resolution. This entire scene of bulbs was all animated with a single 128 by 128 pixel image. Crazy. For the actual light animation in Unreal, we'll set up a new Unreal material. So after importing the light geometry, just right click wherever you have your asset organized and create a new material. Now you can use your image texture to drive a number of different things. For our purpose, let's just use it to drive the emissive color. To animate it, we need a single node called Panner. Panner will pan the image on either the X or Y axis at a constant speed. Just plug it into the texture sample UV slot. I set my speed on X to 0.05. Here's a further setup I was playing with to get more of a faded effect with my bulb. I took the Fresnel node, which is a funny word, but basically just refers to the way light reflects on a surface more strongly at steep angles as seen from the viewer's perspective. So kind of a nice way to cheat that gradient look with our light. I used a divide node to divide Fresnel from the image, and I plugged that into Emissive. Here are the final results. Again, this is just a theory and technique video. It's up to you to take the setup variables I've shown you and create the art that works for your specific scene. If you liked this tip, please consider supporting what I'm making over on offworlddepot.com. That's a site I built from scratch, so no portion of support is bleeding into third-party companies like Patreon or YouTube membership. Everything you give goes straight towards creating more videos, 3D props, textures, and we even started our first community game development project. If you want to get involved with that, just check out the Discord link I'll have below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next week or so.